Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing some more Elite Dangerous and I'm going to cover something that has been bothering the mess out of me up until recently when I figured out exactly what was going on and how to do it. So a lot of you may be wanting to figure out how to rank up with your superpowers so that you can get uh, the bigger better ships like the uh, Federation Dropship or the Imperial Cutter. Or even get the uh, permits to go out to places you haven't been yet and can't yet. And I've found a way to do it and I wanted to share that with you. Now you can see right now I'm not the highest rank in anything but I have found a good way to rank up. And the answer to that would be going to a station allied with the faction that you want to rank up. Go to your mission board and when you get to your mission board you want to take a look at the missions that are available that are given out by the faction you want to rank up in. So right now I am ranking up in Empire. So I'm looking for this eagle uh, right here. So I'm going to pick up a mission by one of these folks that have the eagle logo that I need to, you know, look rank up with. And what I'm looking for is legal because, well, that's what I personally prefer doing. Uh, and if you want, I would change your reward choices to reputation gain. Uh, data deliveries are super, super easy. You don't need any kind of special ship to do that. It's generally not all that far. And when you go to turn it in, just make sure that you turn in the rep. So choose the reputation when you get in and you finished your mission, like the data delivery, you just hop in, drop it off. So when you drop that off, you're going to see your rank go up a lot uh, because that's, that's what it is. That's how you do it. You get more rep, you get more rank. Uh, after a few of those, you can come back in here to the mission board, and I wish there was one up and available that I could show you. Uh, the mission board is not always cooperative, and it doesn't always show up until you're ready to rank up like you hit 100% in whatever rank you currently are in but there will be a mission given out by one of the faction leaders or uh, faction mission givers and it will be slightly above all of the other missions and have three chain links in it you select that you go do that if you do, if it's something you don't really want to do like going and killing pirates I mean you do you but if you don't want to go kill pirates, you want to wait for, say, a, a data delivery mission to show up so that you can uh, go get that uh, taken care of and you want to do it quick and easy and safe, that's the way to do it. So uh, let's go ahead and do a data delivery. There we go. Pull up the system map. If you haven't yet been to the system, uh, it's not a huge deal. Uh, you saw my um, exploration video, most likely. If you haven't, go check that out. Um, I've got a couple of different utilities on this ship. I'm using my Asp Explorer just because it's a good multi-purpose. It's got an infinity range scanner. So even if there isn't a nav beacon for me to go check out, Uh, I can pop that scanner and find wherever it is I need to go. Okay. And I'm facing the wrong way. If anybody wants to off offer up uh, suggestions on how to pronounce this specific area, I'm open. I'm open to suggestions because it's not like super easy to pronounce. Not even in my head. There are quite a few places like that are, that aren't particularly easy to pronounce. But yeah, you'll find yourself after doing several uh, data data delivery missions and or several uh, delivery missions, uh, pirate kills, assassinations. Uh, they show up of all mission types that grant you extra rep. So don't. Don't stress out too much if there's not one that you really, really want, because it will pop up. And I haven't 
strictly speaking picked a home port for doing this kind of thing it's just uh, I find stations that have the Empire faction and do submissions for them it's been having me go back and forth approximately one jump between them uh, between this port and several others and it's been pretty darn quick uh, unfortunately this port which is the closest thing to a home port I have picked for em uh, Empire missions uh, all of the other areas that I'm delivering data to are kind of far out there it takes a little while to get out to that station and could be a little bit more fun because most of it is doing this waiting till you get to the spot and dropping stuff off uh, I don't know if I talked about this earlier but I have set my 75% throttle hotkey I set it to uh, caps lock because that was just the easiest thing for me to reach and it wasn't already bound to something else I mean it still does caps lock but you get the idea something easy to reach and you see how my time hasn't fluctuated since I tapped that button if you tap your 75% uh, throttle at six seconds that is going to be your absolute fastest to get into the place that you're wanting to go if it's more than that you could be going faster if it's less than that you're gonna overshoot it uh, but 75% is the stay at this speed kind of thing or stay at this time to arrival speed and yeah this port is a little close to a planet and depending on the time of day sometimes it's a little bit tough to uh, get straight in so I have had to throttle up but uh, it's not usually an issue with that 75% throttle trick we'll be in port here in just a second and I will show you the mission return window I almost overshot this. Oh. And like I showed you before, I've got that docking computer, and I still absolutely love it. Oh no, there's a queue. At least I've got some music to keep me company. Like I said, it's not Empire specific, even though that's what I'm currently grinding, because there's some Imperial ships that I really, really want. Uh, it also works for Federation, and uh, I think it's the Alliance is the third faction that gets you uh, access to all kinds of new systems with their permits. So, it's simple, it works, and it's pretty darn quick, especially if you're doing data deliveries like this one. Uh, if I remember right, I've got more than one mission to turn in in this one place because I've been several go ahead and pop open that mission board there we go uh, complete the mission and yes uh, that's not a lot of money but it is some money and it's the most money reward over here don't pick that one pick the reputation one I know it's easy for me to say when I've got as much money as I do but Hey, uh, when you're grinding a fash faction, that is the way to do it. Oh, oh wrong button. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at these others and see if that Ascension mission is available. I want to say that there have been some issues with that showing up lately. Um, I know some places just it won't show up. But if you're, as long as you're patient, you know it'll it will eventually show up. And if you've already hit your 100%. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, I didn't rank up, but you can see how much my rank has changed under Empire in just that one day to delivery mission. Anyway, like I said, you can uh, wait around and find the one that you want, and you can do the Ascension mission that you do want. And I've been looking for missions that have the most reputation, Three is an average for good ones. There are uh, five and even more than five rep missions that you can do. 
Uh, unfortunately, those are few, far between, and usually not quite worth your time. And I hate to say that because I do enjoy this game. And I would like to definitely check out some of the bigger hall missions. Uh, wing missions, after they came out, there are some massive hauling stuff missions that give massive amounts of rep and or massive amounts of cash. Watch these expert skills that go through the mail slot. Ah ha ha. Eh, not really. Anytime you go through the mail slot and you don't bump aside, you're doing pretty good, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, you get used to it and it's not a big deal. You can go through that mail slot every time, no problem. Uh, but it does, like I said, take a little bit of getting used to to get that, you know, on point every time. There we go. Off to our next data delivery. It's uh, 20 light years away, so this would normally be more than one jump from this station, but that's also not the station that I picked it up from. Most of these data delivery missions have been under 15 light years, so most of any lightly loaded ship can make that jump. Your entry level uh, Sidewinder, I don't think could do that even fully upgraded. But if you've got any of the exploration ships, any of the higher tier, pretty much anything, with an upgraded uh, frame shift drive, it's going to be a cakewalk. Yeah, yeah. You're going to have to get used to that if you're doing these data deliveries. You're going to have it show up like that all the time because they're all going to be telling you. Let's see if I can pull that up real quick while we wait to get out there. Time bonus. Uh, optional time limit. If I do it in under two hours, which is crazy easy, because the uh, time bonuses show up when you get into the system. It's kind of pointless, because there's no way I'm not going to make it there in under two hours. Yeah, it's kind of far out, the, far out there, but it's not that far out there. Anyway, uh, let's see. I, I apparently picked up a, uh, another mission, stopped through a system, and didn't do that uh, I was I mean it's it's a thing it's not a big deal because it's really just a mon monetary boost and we're not out here for the money the money's nice and it'll cover your fuel cost if you don't have a fuel scoop but that's not really why you're out there uh, incoming enemy alert uh, well that's odd oh 120,000 credits per target I kill that's neat. Uh, if I was fit in a more combat exploration ship, that would definitely be worth it. But as it is, I'm shooting for the shortest time possible between pickup and drop off of mission and highest rep increase. You notice that didn't say that would increase the reputation at all. And uh, I don't know if you caught that, but I was going through my messages and you saw my rank up uptick to uh, surf, I think it was. Yeah, to surf. That was not very long ago. That was yesterday evening. Uh, we're going to turn in this mission and see if there's an ascension mission we can look at. It may not show up because I'm not close enough. Oop, too fast. Oh no, I'm going to overshoot. And if you're wondering why I'm porpoising, it's so that I can put a little bit more distance between me and my uh, destination. Oh, come on. I have absolutely killed my speed. Why are you still speeding up? <laughs> oh, even the best pilots, if you're slightly distracted, will miss their target landing spot. There we go. Dropped it at five seconds, but this close to it, not a huge deal. I can still get in no problem. And you see that it kind of adjusted itself to six. And that's with the 75% throttle preset.
Go ahead and pop on out over here. Hey, lined up perfect with the mail slot. Boom, boom. And I should get in pretty darn quick. Once again, docking computer. I love it. The only thing that I wish that it did that it doesn't do is get you back out of the station. Because if you're not in a private session, there are plenty of times an idiot will get stuck in the mail slot and you'll run straight into them. Uh, the docking computer, if there's somebody stuck in the mail slot, it'll wait. It'll say that you're waiting in queue, but there's actually an idiot stuck in the mail slot. Okay, let's go to the mission board, turn in our mission. Boom, data delivery. Not influence. Influence is great if you're wanting to stick around the station for a while, but reputation, those three bars. Let's take a quick look. We are currently 23%. Complete the mission for reputation. And we are now 39%. Uh, there are other missions that let you rank up just a little bit faster. Like I said, if you've got more than three of those pluses next to reputation, it will go up quicker. Uh, but seriously, for the time investment, I've been with you guys for 15 minutes and I've gone up 20%. Granted, I am still a low rank. It will keep going up though. And I'm going to see if there's a rank up mission anywhere in here. There's not an ascension mission. But like I said, even if it doesn't show up on time, you can still still keep grinding that reputation and it will still count. So if you go over that 100%, it just counts toward the next one. It doesn't go away. But anyway, guys, uh, that's really all i wanted to show you simple easy way to rank up and actually how to do it because everywhere i've looked it's been either a convoluted answer or you have to go to this specific station the way i've found it you don't you absolutely don't have to go to a specific station uh, but yeah wanted to help you guys out share something i'm enjoying uh if you did like what you saw hit that subscribe button Otherwise, let me know down in the comments, like, dislike, whatever, whatever floats your boat, and I will see you guys in the next one.